year one. Today in maths, we are learning to describe position. And the key words we need to think about today are left, right, forwards, and backwards. If we were to think about left and right to start with, most of us, or every single one of us, should have heard left or right because of which hand we write with. Most of us write either with our left hand or our right hand. Some people, those lucky people, can write with both, but most of us have a dominant hand and that's the one we write with. Thinking about our hands, that's how a lot of us remember our lefts and rights. So I've drawn my hands on the board. If you want to, you can get a piece of paper and you can draw your own hands. When I draw my hands, a way to think about which one's left and which one's right is thinking about the index finger and the thumb. As you can see here, there is an L shape made. So if you put your hands in front of you, you should be able to see, with the palms facing down, you should be able to see an L that's facing towards you. That L makes for the left hand. If you look at it again, on the other hand, there's another L, but it is not the right way round. So I know then... That's my right hand. So that's a good way to think about your lefts and right. So look at your hands, palms facing down. The L that's facing towards me the right way is the left and the other one's the right. So have a go with that. And then, if we to think about forwards and backwards, Oh, let's get the glare off. If you were to think about forwards and backwards, I like to think about forwards and backwards with my body. So, if you stand up and you face towards a wall, if you walked towards that wall, you'd be walking forwards because your face and your body is facing that way, so you're walking forwards. The back of you is then facing towards the back. So, if you walked backwards your back would be facing that way. So face forward and back backwards. So have a little go with that. Pause the video, stand up and walk forwards and then you can walk backwards. You might want to put some lefts and rights in there. So walk forward five steps maybe, turn left, walk backwards, turn right and just have a little practice with that to start off with. Now we are going to do a question that helps us to understand a little more our lefts and rights. So I'm going to begin with a blue triangle. And I really want a green circle to the right of my triangle. So to help me, I'm going to put my hands up and I'm going to work out which way is the left and right. And I'm going to put my right on that side and left on that side because it will really help me with my work. And now I know that the right's on this side of the triangle. So I'm going to draw my green circle, because that was really easy. My, my right is on the right of the triangle. I then want a black square on the left. So I'm going to go to my triangle, and on the left, I need a black square. And that was really easy to do with my left and right signs up. Let's do one more. So I am going to have a, let's change my pen, a triangle, a square or a rectangle, circle and a diamond or a kite. Very wonky one. Okay, so I want to know what is on the left of my circle. So again, I'm going to, you might still have it on up there or you need to work out your left and right with your hands. So on the left of my circle, I know it's this way. So I have my rectangle and my triangle. On the left of my circle is the rectangle and the triangle. Brilliant. Okay, I now want to know what's on the right of the rectangle. On the right of the rectangle. So I know that the right is this way. So on the right of my rectangle, I've got a circle 
and a diamond. Fantastic. Okay, now you have some questions to do using your lefts and rights.